Well, good morning. Um, it is uh, 7.44. Um, only have four miles to get to Rock Arbor. Um, normally the boat leaves at 2.45, uh, but because of the rough seas, rough like, uh, the wind is really, really picked up and the waves are really high. They want to leave at noon. So my plan was to get to Rock Harbor and then do a small, um, I think it's a one and a half mile loop, but I don't know if I'll have the time to do that now. Um, yeah, no big deal, it's, it's just the way it is. Um, in a way it helps me, that makes me arrive at uh, Copper Harbor around 3, 3.30. And um, from that point I have a chance to maybe drive straight home and not spend a night in a hotel and spend another hundred bucks. Um, you know, what you can do to save money. So, so yeah, I think um, that's kind of what the plan is. Uh, just, I'm pretty much packed and um, finishing my scrambled eggs with bacon and uh, my coffee and uh, I'll be on my way so I'll see you out there so I'm gonna stay away from the lake for now I'm gonna go back to I went back 0.2 miles I have basically a total of half a mile detour but the trail in the center of the island is much less rougher than the one right by the lake and um, I have too many small injury on my foot right now to trying to do the side trail I have a uh, four blisters and uh, and uh, an area on my foot that is tender and I think uh, I want to play it safe at this point since it's only uh, basically it's a three and a half mile day today so I should be there in less than two hours the boat doesn't leave until noon today so I don't know if I said anything earlier but the boat normally leaves at 2.45 and here it's leaving at noon so it is uh, just 8 so I have plenty of time but I wanted to do a couple of things in Rock Harbor I had a trail I wanted to, to hike but now I'm not sure I'm gonna do that but I have about I want to go to the store and see if uh, anything jumps at me that I want to buy so we'll see So now I just turn into the inner loop, uh, inner trail actually. So you have two trails, you have one that goes right by the lake and you have this one that basically stays in the center of the, of the, basically the, the peninsula that goes to Rock Harbor. So uh, it's funny, we're seeing all the hikers are taking the boat today, so I just passed a couple and two kids and uh, two uh, two a couple that uh, I was uh, with uh, in uh, uh, my Grove Cove, so I knew they were supposed to be on that boat too. So everybody's out early trying to get there. I should only take uh, an hour and a half from here, but. Um, it's just you know, I think everybody wants to do the same thing, be there, not have to worry about 
the time limit. So it's going to be, I think, interesting the the ride back. So. Grumbling. Oh, it's an airplane. This is pretty cool to have the, it's like the third or fourth island I passed by on this cove. So this is a peninsula, uh, peninsula and you have a cove on the east side of it and then you have another small cove here. And uh, so that's Lake Superior that we just saw. Oh, something just jumped. Big time. Oh, no, they're uh, they loons. Oh, is it ducks? Oh, they are ducks. They must have just landed. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, there was a bunch of them. Oh no, I may be wrong, I may be... And they all came... So they saw me coming, they went underwater. I went away, they all came out, make that huge noise. Ah, ah nature. Unbelievable. So anyway... Uh, I'm uh, 48 minutes into my, um, my walk. I just looked at the distance and I'm less than two miles. Um, I was 1.7 miles. So uh, I should be there like in the next 40 minutes. So this way is so much easier than uh, what I had to deal with on the first day. Uh, if I would have took this road or this route, this trail, I may have made it to Muskie Basin on the first day. <sighs> Lesson learned, I guess. Be prepared, educate yourself, get some, uh, some uh, better information. It would have made the trip a little easier, but so this is a side uh, trail that goes back to uh, the across the peninsula, and I don't see any marking on it. Oh yeah, it says uh, Suzy Cave. I was at Suzy Cave uh, on the first day. Uh, So, there's another island on this 
side here. Then another one. I think they have some uh, islands that you cannot go to. So I don't know if this would be some of them, but if it's not, it would be a cool kayak landing spot. Put some hammock and sleep for the night. Hopefully you wouldn't have to share your uh, your island. <laughs> That's for sure, if you want to get lost and uh, be in the wilderness, you could easily do that. Uh, you have the right to camp anywhere you want. Um, you just have to leave no trace. And uh, you could easily uh, spend a few, few nights without, um, without any, anybody. You probably find, you see cross people on the trails, but overall on the staying somewhere in uh, in camp you could easily uh, find that but I, I do my I, I do like the the com community I like the way you know you you can start a conversation with anyone and talk about their uh, favorite trails their favorite campsite uh, if they are brand new to the island, little tricks that we don't know and we would like to share, little things like that. It's I think it's a it's it's a really good group. I've been told that um, this island has a core group of of hikers. They actually paid a boatload of money to come here, so it's not like someone who just decided yesterday. I'm gonna go camping. They have to plan in advance, they have to have the equipment. So it's not like they are novice. Now when you get to this pen, pen, this area of the of the island, you you, you have Rock Harbor which is just a, a mile and a half from here. And uh, uh, they may you may encounter them, but if you go a little farther than Daisy Farm, uh, most of them are hikers. Most of them are seasoned hikers. So that's where the really cool conversation starts and where the the really the the sharing of information is 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 great. So Well, I'm less than a mile from the Rock Harbor and I got sprinkled for the first time in the trip. Just enough to give me a little bit of panic to put my uh, rain fly on my backpack. But as soon as I got 
it uh, halfway done, uh, it stopped. So I continued, I put it on just in case, but my actual rain jacket is buried inside my backpack because it had zero chance of rain. And well, it lied. So <laughs> funny, almost there. And I got a sprinkle, but it's a sprinkle. I'll take a sprinkle, which is a, a, a complete rain downpour. So, you know, so like I said, you never know, even if it's a 0% of chance, but it is cloudy today. Uh, it's the first time it was been, it's been cloudy. Uh, it's always been uh, really sunny. And I think the wind is bringing uh, a cold front or a quick thunderstorm like uh, weather and then it'll go away so uh, yeah interesting so I'm uh, yeah last time I checked I was uh, just under a mile so in a half hour I'll be there and it's just 907 right now so I have a few hours to kill uh, before we leave um, I'll just have to figure out what to do when I get there so I just crossed the three mile uh, area and I'm still getting sprinkles here and there not hard enough for me to get in a panic and get my uh, rain suit but or my rain jacket but as soon as I get to Rock Harbor, I will take it out and uh, have it because I have a feeling it's uh, it's not gonna get uh, better. So I think I have only half a mile left. I'm gonna go check this out. It says 0.58. So yep, half a mile. So. In 15 minutes, I should be there. So, if it doesn't uh, rain hard in 15 minutes, I'm good.
Well, that was exciting. So, uh, nice rack. I was uh, really, really happy. I wish he would have uh, stand up and looked my way a little bit more, but never really got a shot with his, uh, his head out my way. So, I'll have to look at the footage to see if he even had a, a shot on that. But uh, with my uh, cell phone, I wasn't able to. So I am in, uh, it's uh, 9.45 and I am at uh, Rock Arbor. I just had a couple buildings from the, uh, I think the campground uh, through the trees. So I know I'm, uh, I'm close to it. I checked my map, it says I'm right there. So I um, feel pretty good. Uh, today was a good, easy day. Um, this was awesome to be able to see that moose right there at the end. Uh, quite, quite something. Just a nice little uh, finish touch, finishing touch. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is uh, figure it out if I have a spot where I can dump my pack and uh, walk around the area without my backpack would be nice. And then from that point, uh, uh, figure it out. So that's the Tobin. That's the trail I wanted to do, the Tobin trail. Uh, but I kind of want to do it without my backpack, if possible. But if it's not, I'll. And I have the time. Why not? So we'll go to the visitor center I guess and uh, check it out It says six foot. Right now, like a person, you could put a person between the bottom and top. Once again, my name is Michael Joubert and I am from MJ's Adventure. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked the video, please like the video. If you have any questions, comments, or add any information to the video, please put them in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And again, thanks for watching.